Hey guys, this is SFN with Noel, and my team's gonna be Leah, the evolved Leah, and then uh, what's his name, Mr. Rabbit, and then I'm gonna have X, and my friend is going to be an Arthur. If you want to make alternatives, then you bring Apollo, Asha, those types of monsters, um, some other fire. You want like flight and no gravity barrier monsters at the same one, so Hakua is also good. Uh, you don't really have to bring minesweepers like in Light Noel, so uh, you can bring flight, no gravity bear, which is there's a lot, you know, Tengu, um, Tengu, what's that other guy's name? Alien Gray. It's also a good fire monster. Uh, Hatcher monsters, Apollo. Uh, well, I guess Asha is a uh, fire uh, stream monster. I mean, not a stream monster and farmable. And then all the other ones, Sada is not bad-ish, ish, <laughs> I say ish, uh, there's probably better ones, like Fire No Gravity Barrier, uh, Roma of course is one of them, with the Wood Slayer and all that, Kao Kao is also good, Kao Kao with his wall bouncing Strict Shot is also good, but in terms of Wood Noel, you want to be very very far away from her, because of that, close spread, the short spread. Uh, it's the mini boss, so it doesn't do that much damage. But once it gets the boss bars, you gotta get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there. Okay. Leah's good. Flight, no gravity barrier. Rabbit, Scarlet is uh, wood resistance and no gravity barrier. And then Agna X is probably the most OP one in uh, for this dungeon, and I completely missed the weak spot. That equals to more damage. But the mines are relatively situated in one side of the map, or one row or line. So you can avoid it relatively easily, and you have blocks to kick you out or let you back in, I guess, <laughs> into those mines. Okay, and bye bye. Next stage. Okay, next stage you want to be at the top if you have mine. If you have non mine sweepers, if you have mine sweepers, then you can be on the bottom side. But I'm just gonna move myself up and take care of the ability lock monsters. They are really annoying. Really, really annoying. And sadly, you cannot pinch on the top of her head. I really hope that. That would have happened, but can't. Next is Arthur, trying to go up, and hopefully, guess not. Didn't kill off the ability lock, and survive the ability lock as well. So that's always good. Just gonna grab the heart and hit her head. Oh, it kind of got stuck. Uh, it's not really a pinch or match so that's why I don't really like it <laughs> okay next one boss uh, it's gonna be split down somewhere around the middle and there's the left side and right side left side will be all uh, all about mob clearing right side is all about the boss like I said you don't really want to be close to the boss first bar wise first bar wise uh, you can finish her off relatively quickly but yeah, that's just not what you want to take. That short spread is not what you want to take the top left. And after that happens, then I can basically take care of... Uh, I can just go straight towards uh, with Noel. Although it comes out every other two turns, I'm going to get in there anyways. And hopefully finish her off. Come on, guess not. And I'll be taking damage. And 6k off of... Hognumber X. It's one row though. So if it hits multiple rolls, if I get too close, then that's a lot of damage. Okay. Next stage, you want to be on the left side of the map. Left bottom. Bottom left. Not left bottom. Bottom left. And you want to start clearing mobs first. This is where Hakua becomes really good. Uh, because she can use her clone SS and then just move around like crazy. Uh, I guess you can bring Nicholas, Ascendant Nicholas, if you have him. As a max luck to do all these mob clearing, mob clearing. 
or Ashura for mob clearing as well. You want to save at least one mob clearing strike shot for the last stage and I'm really close. Ouch. But the main strategy is clear off the zombie, then clear off the ability lock monster and then aim for the boss. And I'm going to strike shot just in case. Oh crap. <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> Totally forgot that her evolve strike shot is different than the ascended or different from Queen Butterfly. <laughs> so there goes that missed strike shot. Okay. Get the hell out of there. Survive! Barely. She's not attacking next turn, so that's good. Okay. Last stage with two strike shots up and Agnamu X is somewhat in a bad position. Somewhat in a bad position. I want to clear off the, the zombie first. So I'm trying to get some kind of pinch. There we go. And then next is Ouch, lots of damage. Next is Agnama X for mob player and some damage, some boss damage. Not that great. <laughs> Not that great at all. And while the ab ability lock monster is up, and that's not good, so Arthur, I'm gonna stretch out right onto Arthur. I mean, right onto the ability lock monster. I was pretty near death as well, so I want to take uh, the least amount of damage as possible. And if I didn't clear off that ability lock monster, I would have died. Okay. That's good. And now to drag it on until she dies. Which is not bad, in my opinion. As long as you don't get close to her or be on the sides of her, then you should be able to clear relatively easily. Okay. Next is Arthur. And that is it. Wood Noel, probably the second hardest of the Noels. Probably fire might be a little bit too hard if you don't have Yamato Takeru, which is an impossible monster. Other monsters are not that great in that dungeon, so. And of course you gotta bring fire, no damage wall monsters in there. But when when well, as long as you have Ashra or Agnama X, then it should be okay. And you can bring us Evolve, Leah, and stuff like that to be able to do work. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.